Hello and welcome back. Let's have another really quick lesson on security for Cosmo database. There's a very little on the Cosmo database security within AZ exam series. But I did want to bring up a couple of things that you will see on the exam, especially with uh, respect to the Cosmo database security. So basically Cosmo database uses two types of the keys. Um, which are which falls under the security specific to authenticate users and provide access to its data and resources so the first one would be the master keys and next one would be the resource tokens so let's talk about the master keys master keys are used for administrative resources such as creating and editing database accounts databases users or permissions those all are, are, are done with the master keys Master keys cannot be used for uh, providing a granular access to the containers or documents. These are by default created when you create actually a Cosmo database and uh, this can be generated anytime. This is very similar that we have seen for the storage account uh, keys. Uh, the same thing uh, almost uh, when we look at from the portal side. I did open here from the Azure portal Cosmo database and then if you just navigate to keys uh, there are two different keys as we discussed the primary key and the secondary key along with the primary and the secondary connection strings which we can provide to middle tier applications along with the keys to access the cosmo database account and able to perform any sort of administrative request and also you have the read only keys also here you can use them we also follow the key rotation in order to secure the keys like navigating within the portal and then retire your secondary keys and replace the current primary key with the secondary key and then rotate the primary key so that's a normal process that what we follow for the storage account a similar uh, way we can follow for the key rotations the other type of the tokens would be the resource tokens resource tokens provides access to the application resources uh, within your database it will be used for the application resources, things like containers, documents, attachments, or stored, pro stored procedures, or triggers, and UDFs. So that's where it's going to use. You can use the resources tokens by creating Cosmo DB users and permissions when you want to provide access to the resources within your Cosmo database account uh, to a client that uh, cannot be trusted within the same uh, master key. Our Cosmo DB resources tokens provides a safe alternative that enables clients to read and write and delete resources in your Cosmo database account according to the permissions that you have granted and without. Uh, a need for either a master key or a read-only key so this would be a definitely useful in terms of only um, scoping for only specific resources here is the typical design pattern uh, whereby the resource tokens may be requested generated and delivered to the clients like uh, if, if you take the example of this design uh, the mid tier service uh, would request the permission from the Cosmo database account based on the identity once that the permission has been established uh, there's a legitimate uh, user that's uh, been created within the Cosmo TB account so they have uh, permissions to or to a resource within the Cosmo database account so they are given that's uh, what's known as a resource token we call it as a resource token so that would be given here and the resource token is sent uh, back to the mid tier service uh, to the client and then the client app uh, or the app on the client cannot uh, can continue to use a resources token to directly access resources on a Cosmo DB with the permissions defined by the resource token and for the interval allowed so once the interval expires then subsequent requests will receive as uh, for not error that's unauthorized exceptions and uh, at that point the app of the client will uh, re-establish the identity and the request to a new resource token really uh, we are going to look at uh, on this exam is especially the master keys and the resource key token these are the two keywords they actually look into the exam so if you are uh, good into these uh, two concepts that would be uh, more than enough to clear with specific to the Cosmo TB specific questions within the exam uh, one would be the master keys and the resource tokens I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.